All right, it is Friday. Neil is here to answer some of your questions. First one coming to us from Betty. She's asking what kind of bug could be getting into my lamps, light sockets, and causing my bubs, bulbs to blow, Neil? Well, that's a very, that's one of the most interesting that's a that's questions a I've there. had in a while, but apparently um, <laughs> it seems that there's lots of little insects that can feed on paper and and a lot of the old light sockets had a cardboard ring mm -hmm. inside of them and probably there's something that's got in there that's feeding on that old cardboard ring and there's things like uh, powder post beetle cigarette beetle carpet beetle these are all beetles that feed on uh, plant materials that have been made into cardboard or glues or something like that that would be my guess the best thing to do in that case is to have someone rehab the lamp, put a new socket in it, clean it up real good if it's metal. If it's wood, inspect it very closely because it could be something living in the wood of the lamp, actually feeding on it and coming into that socket. Wow. All right, next up, Samuel has asked, what are some of the common bugs that would be making holes in my skip laurel leaves this time of year? Well, it's probably not <clears throat> bugs. It's uh, probably either a bacterial or a fungal shot hole fungus or shot hole disease, we call it. What is that? It actually, it actually infects the leaf tissue and then as the tissue dies, it will drop out uh, that what looks like a hole or an insect where an insect <coughs> has been feeding. And it's when you have a lot of moisture uh, on the leaves, they can get this. And sometimes we'll see evidence of it in the winter. More likely we see it normally in the spring when it's really wet. But it's possible that he's seeing some damage that occurred last year and the tissues just died and fallen out. Last Shot hole infection, Beth, come on. Shot yeah. hole. Yeah. Last question from Lydia. We have lived in our home for 30 years. Last year in the spring and early summer, we noticed for the first time these tiny little red bugs crawling along the brick, literally millions of them. Are they dangerous? No, they're clover mites and they are bright red. They're extraordinarily tiny. But if you look real close, a lot of times on the south and west sides of your home, where the brick is, you'll see them crawling. And they come out in the spring when the clover starts to grow. And you'll see them crawling all over the brick. If you mash them, they'll actually make a little red stain uh, on the brick. Nothing to worry about, they cause no harm. It's just something we see around uh, around this area. All right, okay. well that's, that's <coughs> nice to know, calming. Yeah, All calming. right, Neil, uh, who's gonna win the Super Bowl? Last question. It'll be Kansas City. Kansas City, all no right. No hesitation there, okay. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate you. Good to see you. Happy good Friday. To see you.